Hi, I'm Tom, and in this video, I'm going to show you the basics of using the Silhouette Ultra Plus 3D printer, including printing your first object. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to Hobbycraft and click the bell icon for notifications of future videos. Your Silhouette Ultra Plus 3D printer has three main sections. The filament feed, this is where your filament sits and feeds through to the heated nozzle below. The printer is compatible with 1.75mm PLA filament. Your machine will come with approximately 60 grams of filament so you can get printing straight away. But Silhouette supplies filament in a range of amazing colours and finishes. You could go for a simple black or white or something bright. If your design calls for a bit more sparkle and shine, you can also purchase special filaments like these gold and silver colours. More are available on the Hobbycraft website. The print head, or nozzle, is the part which moves around the platform, melts the filament and extrudes it to become your 3D object. The nozzle gets heated to above 210 degrees Celsius, so you must be careful not to touch it while it's printing. Keys are provided with the printer to lock the enclosure while it's in use, perfect for homes with children or pets. The print platform is a removable part and is where your 3D model will be printed. Before printing, it's recommended that you apply a protective platform tape to the top. This will both protect your platform from the heated nozzle and will help the print adhere to the platform. You get 10 pieces of platform tape with the machine. They can be reused, but will need to be replaced when it becomes damaged. To get started with using your printer, you need to register with Silhouette. Go to silhouetteamerica.com forward slash setup and follow the prompts. This will allow you to set up an account, register your machine and download the Silhouette 3D software for your Mac or PC. Once downloaded, open Silhouette 3D. There are three main sections of Silhouette 3D, Design, 3D Print and Store. The Design tab will show your representation of the print platform. From here, you can create objects to print using your Alta Plus. With simple tools, you can make and manipulate objects. Here, you can see how simple it is to use basic objects to make a luggage tag. If you'd rather start with a pre-made design, the Store tab will take you to Silhouette's Design Store. Here, there are hundreds of designs, from buttons to vases. You even get 25 free designs when you register a new machine, which is perfect for beginners. When you've purchased a design, it will appear in Silhouette 3D in your library. If you double-click it, it will appear on the print platform. From here, you can resize or add to it to suit your needs. When you're ready to print your object, you can find your printer controls on the 3D Print tab. When you click this tab, it will perform what is known as slicing your object. What this means is that it will calculate how many layers your printer will need to print to create your design. You can scroll through the timeline and see exactly how your printer will build the object. The tab at the side will also allow you to set the quality from a selection of preset settings ranging from draft to quality. Draft will use less filament and take less time to print, but the layers will be far more obvious than printing at a higher setting. There are also manual settings for those with more experience with 3D printing. Once you're ready, click print and watch as your design gets built on the platform of your printer. Top tips. PLA filament can become brittle and dry out if it's left out for too long. It's recommended you either use a resealable bag that comes with the new Silhouette filament or store in an airtight box with desiccant to ensure that it has a long life when not in use. 
Calibrating the printer is recommended before using it, otherwise your print may not adhere properly to the print bed. This is done through the Silhouette 3D software in the 3D Print tab. Click on the calibration icon and prompts will guide you through the process. Use the screws under each arm to bring the print head closer or further away from the platform for optimum distance. You will know that your printer is calibrated when you can move a piece of paper underneath the nozzle but while feeling resistance. Your printer must be connected to a Mac or PC while the print is running. Make sure your computer doesn't go to sleep while printing by going into your system preferences and changing your energy saving preference. If you're using a laptop, make sure it's attached to power so it doesn't run out of battery while printing. When printing with PLA filament, you may detect a sweet odour in the room in which you're printing. This is a natural odour coming from the melted PLA coming through the nozzle. Though printing with PLA is relatively safe, we recommend doing so in a ventilated space. To find more inspiration, head to hobbycraft.co.uk forward slash ideas. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and we'd love to see your thoughts in the comments below. See you soon for more videos.